Hi, welcome back to the AHA Guru YouTube channel. This is a very easy question today for you. So if you see, this is a question that has been doing a lot of rounds on the internet. I had a bunch of students sending it to me, uh, ninth standard students sending it to me from WhatsApp as well as on email. So the question is a simple one. There are three circles of different diameters, 6 centimeters, 4 centimeters, 3 centimeters. The circles are touching each other and they are inscribed inside a rectangle. The size of the rectangle isn't given. And the question is, find the distance from A to B. A is the point that the smallest circle is touching the rectangle and B is the largest circle is touching the rectangle at the point B. The distance between A and B, that is the question. Actually, it doesn't require anything more than Pythagoras theorem. So, do try it. After you solve, look at the solution. Let us now look at the solution to this question. Let us first figure out which are the points that are the centers of each of these circles. So let us take these points. I am calling these points the centers. Okay. Now if I join this center to that center, that will actually pass through that point of contact. Why? Because the tangent, this is a common tangent here. The common tangent must be perpendicular to this radius. It must be perpendicular to that radius. Well, how can you have two perpendiculars at the same place? No, not possible, right? So the two perpendiculars must form a straight line. So basically, you know that this must be a straight line. So this is a straight line, okay? Because this point is touching; these circles are touching at each at that place. Similarly, this these two circles are touching there. So if I join the centers, that line must pass through the point of contact. Correct? Now, what is this length? This is the radius length. Now, what is this length? This whole thing is 4. Diameter is 4. So, what is the length of the radius? Well, it must be 2 centimeters. I won't write centimeters. I'll just write the 2. And what about this? This is 6. That is 3. This is also 3, right? So, this is 3. Right? This is also 3. This length is also 3. This length is also 3. So, let us write all of that. This is also 3. Now, similarly, this is 2, this was 3, if this is 3, what do you know about this? 1.5. So, if this is 1.5, this is also 1.5. In fact, what we know is that this point correctly matches with that point. Right? If you take this and you basically put it there, this point actually matches with that point. I am not going to use that. That is another way to think about this problem. I am not going to use that right now. What I am going to use instead is if this is 1.5, that is also 1.5, right? And if we draw a line like this, you see that this is 1.5, this must be 1.5 and because this is 3, this must also be 1.5. So that means this length from here to there is 1.5 centimeters. And now this length here is 2 and so if I draw another line like this, this is 2, this is 2, this whole thing is 3. So if this is 2, that is 3, this must be length 1. So we know that this length is 1 and that length is 1.5. So what is this whole length from here to there? It must be 2.5. So if that is 2.5, look at this, this point is the same as this point in terms of the horizontal position and this point is, must be same as all the points there. So if I drew a line from here to there, this must be the same length as that piece. So this is 2.5, so this must also be 2.5. But this is 1.5 and this is 2, so what is this total length? This is 3.5, right? So if this is 3.5, this is 2.5, can you see that this is a right angle triangle? So I can find this length. So the length from here to there, I'm just drawing it like this thick so you can see what I'm calculating. This length, 3.5, 2.5, so it must be root of 3.5 square minus 2.5 square. Because this square plus this square must be 3.5 square because this is 1.52 is 3.5. So 3.5 square minus 2.5 square. How much is this? One is, of course, to do the calculation, but we have b square minus a square, so root of b minus a into b plus a. b minus a is 1, b plus a is 6, so this is root of 6. 
So that means this length is root 6. Okay. So I have got for AB one part done. Now the second part I need to calculate. But instead of calculating this length, what I am going to do is to calculate this length. Why will I calculate that length? Why am I going to calculate this length? Because you see, I already know that this is 2, that is 3, so I know that is 5 and I know this is 1. So if this is 5 and that is 1, what is this length going to be? Root of 5 square minus 1 square. So that is 25 minus 1, 24. So root of 24, 24 is 4 into 6. So 4 can come out, it will become 2 root 6. So this length is 2 root 6, this length is root 6, but AB is this length plus this length, these two are equal, right? So therefore, the length from A to B is root 6 plus 2 root 6, so therefore 3 root 6. So therefore, the answer to this question is AB is 3 root 6 and all we have used is Pythagoras theorem and the fact that if two circles touch each other, join the centers and once you join the centers, the line will actually pass through the point of contact. So that's basically the only thing that we have used. Of course, we have to keep in mind that the tangent here must be perpendicular to the radius. We have used all of that when we did the calculation and of course, we have used Pythagoras theorem. That's it.